Welcome to Willow Spring Vineyards. My name is Jim Parker. I'm Cindy Parker. And we're the owners. Um, this beautiful vineyard that we started about 10 years ago in 2001. The focus really was around the barn. Um, you know, we bought the property and we, um, we, we wanted to, we kind of made a pledge to Mrs. Ray, who was the uh, former owner, that we would try to keep it under some, some form of agriculture. But we had this big old barn that was falling apart that we had to do something with. We no sooner um, got the uh, ink dried on the deed and we got a registered letter from the uh, city building inspector saying that we had a condemned building on our hands and it had to come down. So that was a challenge right there. And um, you know, we've got a lot of do-it-yourselfer in, in us. And my dad was a carpenter and I've done carpentry all my life. So at that point, there was, there was something about this structure that was saying, save me. Jim and his couple of his best friends were off skiing and they would suggest, they went to a microbrewery and you know, one of them suggested maybe he, he should grow hops. And, and then he said he could just see vines and though we really didn't have much uh, or any really experience with wine, then we just started, we jumped in and went to seminars and Jim read a ton of books and went to uh, all the courses we could and tried to acquire all the knowledge and visited some local wineries who all said, don't do this, you can't get there from here. And, but we forged ahead. Although we do have a unique site, we were blessed with the site. And I guess if there was one rule that all of the seminars and all of the folks that, that know more about viticulture than we did were to, uh, to drive home, it was site selection. Um, we didn't choose the site for its selection for wine. It did happen upon us. Now, it is a south-facing slope, um, and we have good, excellent air drainage and great soil for growing grapes. Um, and that, that being said, we, uh, we experimented with some varietals that don't always do as well this far north. We planted Saval Blanc and Vignol for our two whites, and we planted Marichal Foch and um, Leon Milo for the two reds. And really, uh, the folks that try these wines, uh, the uh, four hybrids that we grow, they love them. And these are educated consumers that we're dealing with, too. Uh, it's neat to see that people come to, the, uh, come to these farmers' markets and the different markets, and uh, they want to learn, but they're also folks that, uh, you know, that are uh, local-oriented, uh, really interested in the products, and um, enjoy the wines and boy oh boy they really buying them so that's terrific. They're, they're appreciating the quality which I guess they really probably initially didn't expect. We really enjoy what we do and we're excited about having the winery open. We hope to see you all soon.